Okay, we're all set up. I can just about see the TV from here, so let's give this a go. Single player mode. And I'll start from the beginning because it has been a long while since I played this last. Don't jump on the board. Okay, got it. So, if I remember right, it's kind of like the iOS version where you've got, like you can see there, you've got an icon in the corner. And that red dot is you moving around. So, if you lean forward, then it rolls forward. And you can sort of lean left and right to move the ball left and right as well. So, you only really need the Wii Remote to fast forward to get onto the next level. If you stand perfectly straight, it is kind of hard to keep it completely still. If it still seems like it's moving very slightly one way or the other. So I guess that's kind of why they've put these tracks in the levels. But let's see how far we can get without falling off the stage. This should be fun. And I'm leaning a bit like this as well because I can only just about see where the TV is from here. Well, I couldn't do it in the other room because then I wouldn't be able to record the gameplay, so I'm making do with what we've got. I remember I was so excited when this came out back in 2009, I think, 9 or 10. Maybe a bit later than that, maybe 2011. But just the idea of actually moving your body to control where the ball goes, I just thought was a great idea. And although it is a bit awkward, it does control surprisingly okay. I don't really want to say well because it is really awkward. Especially because I'm at a kind of a weird angle, but let's try and focus a bit more now. So you can definitely see why they've put these sort of ridges on the stage, and that's so you don't just go flying off completely in the wrong direction. Hey, perfect. I feel like if I'm leaning that way, I have to sort of counterbalance myself by leaning in the other direction as well. Right, it's been a long time since I used the balance board. What level are we on now? Level five? Yeah, I am glad they put these barriers up. I've seen a lot of reviews complain. Let's see if I can go back to get that. I've seen a lot of reviews complain about having the... Oh my god. Complain about having the barriers? <laughs> I actually... Oh my god, there we go, finally. I actually feel like they're quite useful in this game. Oh, I completely missed that jump. There we go, goal. I completely missed that. Yeah, without the barriers, I think this game would be impossible. I'm really worried about trying to get to some of the later stages. Get back that way. This is even harder than the iToy version. Oh my god, I'm so off balance. Uh. Yes. Well, I forgot how much fun this is. Playing the game with the Wii Remote is a completely different experience. You need to play this game with the balance board to be able to appreciate what they were really going for with this. Ah. <laughs> I bet I look stupid, but I don't care. <sighs> oh. It's really actually difficult because if you're leaning on one foot, you kind of want to put your other foot down to balance it out, but then you go flying in the wrong direction. <laughs> come on, go <come> in. <laughs> this shelf's going to come down behind me. There we go. I feel quite worn out now. We're not even past World 1 yet. Good job there's no boss fights in this one. Although at the end of each world, it does give you a bit of a break. Because it comes up with the... Oh, where am I going? Oh no, it's moving. There we go. It does come up with the um, credits game at the end of each world. So you do get a little bit of a break. And you'll see that in just a second. 
think that, yeah, this is the last stage. I'm gonna try and concentrate now. No, can't do it. Yeah, without the barriers, this game would be completely impossible to play. I am surprisingly having more fun than I remembered this being though. I don't know if that's just because I'm recording it or whether it's genuinely this fun, so I'd say try it out for yourself. I'm sure it's really cheap to buy now and you can pick the balance board up for just a few quid as well, so definitely recommend giving it a go if you like the Super Monkey Ball series. And there you go, this is the credits game. So you basically just wiggle around and you've got to try and make the names fall down the holes. Of course this was also made with the balance board in mind. And I love the fact that, I don't know if you've noticed, but the music in the game actually kind of picks up with like additional instruments and things the further you get into the level. And then by the time you get around to this credits game, sometimes they have like vocals or extra bits of the song that you wouldn't hear otherwise. So I think that's really cool. Although I will fast forward this bit so you don't have to watch all the credits. And while it's doing this, I can have some tea. The annoying thing is that you can't actually skip these at all. So even if you didn't want to break, you really have no choice. So go and grab yourself a cup of tea and a biscuit or something and wait for it to finish. I don't know if you get anything for getting more points than last time or anything like that.
second place. Here we go, well to excavation site. Let's go. See if I can keep in a straight line. Hey, I'm doing all right. Yeah. So I suppose the fun with this isn't really so much as worrying about falling off the stage. It's more like, can you manage to pick up all the bananas on the level or can you manage to finish it? in a certain time or something like that, so it's a bit different to the other games in the series, but it's still really fun. Obviously they're built around, these levels are more built around like leaning one way or the other or putting bananas just out of reach like that. Well, I mean you can still fall off the stage like I just showed there. And it does get a lot harder, especially using these kind of controls. But let's pay a bit more attention this time. Ah, slow down. Sometimes it's easier to sort of just lift your feet off. Like lean on your heels or in your front or something like that. Here we go, level three. Okay, let's see if I can stay on this. Stay on this line. And then slow down. Lean forward slightly. Yes, one up. Oh no! Oh no, this is gonna be gonna be annoying. You have to stay on that to get to the end of the level. And you have to go all the way around here to get back up again. That's a bit frustrating. Wow, ah, ah, turn around. Okay, let's try again. Oh no, it takes you to the end. That's all right then. I thought I was going to have to go back around that all the way. Go backwards. <laughs> go. Ow. I don't even have enough room to stretch my arms out properly because there's a fan there and there's a shelf here with all this stuff balancing on it. bumpers. This doesn't sound fun. Ah, where am I going? Yeah, yeah, this is so much more difficult than playing it with a wig remote. Where am I going? Come on, go in there! <laughs> wow. Go, 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 go! Get, yes, get the bunch of bananas. Come on, you can do it. Yes. <laughs> Don't jump on the board. I get told off by the game for doing that. Bonus stage. Trying to be more careful. That's literally going to fall down on me any minute. 40 seconds. Uh, I can do it. Come back over here. Uh, 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 get back. No! Oh no, come on, go on there! I'm almost done! Go in there! Go, 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 go! Yes! One second left. 